Set target postures with Sami. First of all, what is a target posture? When you first start using Sam, you may set a overall Sam score as the objective for your teams. But actually, it is better to set a detailed target posture where you set the target score for each one of the security practices. This is more accurate and aligns better with uh, the risk profile and the risk appetite and the technological context of the organization. How do you do that in SAMI? You go to Manage, and then you go to Target Scopes. Target Scope uh, is um, a scope where you set a target posture, and there may be several within an organization. So you could have one for your um, web applications, and you could have one for your IoT systems, and you could have one for your embedded devices, uh, business units. Um, you do this by clicking here, add a new target scope. And I'm gonna, for example, say IoT. This is for all IoT teams at our organization. And I now have a IoT target scope. Now in here, I can start setting the target posture for this scope. So I'm gonna add a target posture for some in this case. Um, and I press this play button here to switch to this scope. What happens now, where you would have had assessments in the normal assessment mode, you're basically doing the same thing, but setting what the target posture should be for this, this kind of teams or business units. You can also provide reference documentation, which is very useful when you're explaining how certain things should be interpreted, for example, in the context of IoT. OWASP SAM is very broad and it is intended to fit in a lot of contexts. But that also means that sometimes you need to nuance a little bit what the questions are. We do not recommend changing the questions, but we do recommend providing nuanced instructions here to the different questions and what you are looking for in order to consider something done at each level. I can then save this and do the same for all the other activities. When I do that, then my target posture is created and I can go to, if I go back to my business unit, first of all, I need to go to my scopes and I need to link this target posture to a, a assessment. So for example, here, business unit one, uh, let's say uh, product group four here, let's, let's say this is something IoT related. So then I click on this assessment and I link here my IoT SAM target posture. When I do that and I go into this assessment, when I go to reporting, I will see the target posture are these icons here as to where we should be. Let me go to a place where this is more built out. Here, for example, right. So this is the scores of the organization. And then the little bullseye here is what our target posture here here is. In the next video, I will explain what a uh, cap to target posture is and how this is useful in managing different business units with our different teams with different target scopes.